Hello everyone, I hope you guys are enjoying your Sunday. Alvaro Perez here, back with another Design for KDP video tutorial. You guys seem to like the video that I posted earlier today on using clipping masks within Photoshop, so I decided to stick with Photoshop uh, for this next video. This is going to be a quick one, I'm just going to show you two tools that you guys have at your disposal to help you in creating your book covers. Okay, so the first tool that I'm going to show you is the spot healing brush. Okay, now this can be used if there's a blemish on your image that you want to get rid of or some element within your picture that um, you want gone. And what this tool does is it takes the pixel information surrounding whatever you want to get rid of and it fills in the space with that information. So uh, like all your other brushes, you can change the size, the hardness, and the spacing uh, and the angle of your brush. I'm going to leave this as a circle with kind of a soft edge. And so you'll see what happens here when I click and paint over this object. It fills in that space with the information surrounding it. Okay, so the next tool I'm going to show you is called the healing brush. Okay, and it works the same way. You can change the uh, brush information up here. What this does, instead of getting information surrounding whatever you're trying to get rid of, you actually hold the Alt key down to choose where you want the information to be sampled from. So in this case, let's say I want to sample this white area up here. I'll hold Alt and I'll start drawing over here. Then when I come over here, it'll sample from this area back here. And you can see where my cursor was up here. It shows you where it's taking the information from as you draw. Okay, so there's a little hack that you can use with this, and that would be to, let's say, take an element like one of these sprinkles and repeat it throughout this empty space that I just made. What you would do is you would hold Alt down, and you would actually sample one of these shapes. So when I let go of Alt and I come over here and draw, you can see where my cursor is. It's showing you the sampled information. So I can start drawing here, and it will continue to fill in information surrounding where I sampled from. Okay, so even if I were to take something like, I'm going to hold Alt down, and let's say I sample this purple sprinkle here, and I come drawing over here, there you see the purple sprinkle, but if I keep drawing this way, you'll see that it's repeating all the information leading away from where I started to sample. Okay, so I could take that information and let's say sample this star down here, and when I draw up here, I just move my brush in the direction of these other sprinkles and it fills in that information. All right, guys, if you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, leave them below the video or in the Facebook group and enjoy the rest of your Sunday.